Hi everyone, today I'm going to show how I created this low poly um, hazelnut tree. As you can see here, all together I have 10,000 polygon and it has uh, detail also. So let's start from the beginning. So here, uh, these leaves I have created individually and that one has been created in other so here this is the mesh trunk like you can use any trunk and you can create the leaves on the trunk so i'm going to show you that part so here uh, i'm hiding this one so first of all um, go to mesh select this select this mesh then keep y up keep this option Y up and now go to material so I have selected all the material so the material main thing is what I created here uh, I have created this uh, branches like this kind of setup I have created for the hazelnut tree so now in one plane we can just show a lot of uh, leaves so here i have created the base color and then opacity so now select the tree go to geometry from for geometry at the mesh and this texture i will add to the so here here is the one mesh and we have created material here and from this we will assign that material to the tree trunk now we have a mesh here go to material select the mesh and go to material and add that trunk to here so now it came huge so you have to reduce that go to mesh from a scale I'll keep it uh, 0 0.1 even 0 0.1 also is too big too tall like 108 11 so I can keep it 0 0.07 or 0 0.05 that also would be yeah that would be fine 55 feet so now we have this custom made uh, trunk so you can add any object this way and you can create the lips on it so now what I will do is I'll, I'll take uh, I'll select the tree and we'll add another trunk tube. So here you can see we have the trunk tube. S select the trunk tube. Go to spine. As you can see here is it has 25 feet by default. So we have to increase that to 55 feet or 50 okay now we have the trunk tube now what you have to do is we have to select this one click right button and add some branches to you okay go to spine start angle put them out then go to generation from size scalar from top I will reduce the size this much and from spine a start angle also from top I will uh, do like this basically I will give a round shape like I will follow this uh, flow I will follow the mesh flow so that we don't think about the polygon uh, of this so now we have to do that and then 
go to generation we'll increase the count and we can reduce the positions down and last value we, we can just uh, reduce the first value a little bit yeah this would be fine now what you have to do is you have to adjust that start angle also like a little bit more okay so here you can see it's uh, too tall like almost 71 feet but we need to keep it 55 feet so what we can do is we can just select them and from generation here you can come here double click somewhere here and then reduce from the top and make another node by double clicking then you can reduce and give, give some nice shape like a round shape so this kind of thing also we will do later so here uh, this one we need a little bit uh, longer so that also you can do uh, go to size scalar double click here make a node here and here okay that would be fine it would be too much a little bit of now go to spine and add some gravity here so now we have a nice shape and you can see it's very like um, organized so we have to make it uh, some uh, give some random value go to generation from click here rotation click this plus minus button and rotate randomly now we have some random rotation and we uh, we can do some more and we need the position also random position we can now go to you and go to brand we can add branches and we can change the position little bit and start angle up again we will add some little branches on that so these branches we can just increase some more and the number absolute number so don't think about this one uh, we don't need that much actually uh, three yeah seven be fine now what you have to do is now you can see we have a lot of polygon here i uh, forgot about it and now you can just add some leaves here i love the leaves here go to skin and increase the leaf size so for the moment we have 2700 we can add more go to generation change the position to r go to little branch go to spine and start angle all up now uh, we can increase some more add some more little branches on that okay and now do click this leaves duplicate this one and add to that little branches okay we'll see now uh, we'll assign the texture on that so select this one go to material and we have already selected that material here this material so we, we will assign that material to this leaves assign this material we will take the material again um, I 
Okay, we have this material here. So select this one. And then go to generation, high skin and increase the size a little bit. From settings, turn on this two side. And the same material we'll assign here also. Select the leaves. You can see there are some uh, white color uh, that is coming from here. So now select all the uh, branches and hide them. Press H. So basically you don't need them. You can see them but you can arrange. And from here increase the contrast. So you will not see any color, any kind of white color line now. So when you need to adjust the leaves again. You can just uh, unhide them, press select and press H, unhide them and then you can adjust again according to your need. So I want to keep a little bit up. So if you need to increase the length up to this much, you can just select this one individually and press tab and again tab and keep this so that's how you can just adjust them we'll see how much our polygon is there hide them all now we have 7000 polygon we can add more leaves more branches that also fine like here um here we can add some more branches big branches okay now we can put all of them up duplicate the leaves and add and now hide this one so if you want to reduce you can reduce and if you want to individually uh, just change the position just press the tab and take it So that's how I created this one. So if you want to give on uh, like if you can increase the polygon you can give some more nice shape like uh, you can select the leaves and go to edit from here if you can increase some more polygon you can give more nice uh, realistic look
so now what you can do is go to orientation and we can just fold them curl them uh, twist them same way we can give some fold curl so we can see it will get like more realistic look from that you will get some uh, volume some folding amount little bit curl and twist so that's how I created this one so this kind of tree you can create with uh, even 5000 polygon 5k polygon The main thing is when you want to give some like particular shape like uh, here you want to add some leaves on this uh, in these branches then you have to turn on that hidden branch and then you have to find uh, one branch nearby and then select this one uh, select tab double tab and just put that on just create the flow so that will be covered again you can just hide them so that's how I created this one hope you all like it thank you so much for watching